Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn how to make a spoon. Now, you may be wondering, why make something as simple as a spoon? However, you might be surprised to know that it is actually a very good exercise in being able to build a precise elliptical dome shape because Elias is all, always about precision. Okay, so um, in order to build a dome, uh, I guess uh, the easiest thing would be to just use a revolve. So let's say I have a curve like this. I'm just going to make this into a degree two. I'm just going to bring the ECVs down, or you can always bring this one up like that. And of course, you can just grab the revolve tool. I'm just going to double click. Um, I would say degree should probably at least set to six. Now, do notice that uh, my construct. If you look at my construction options, the rational flags are off. Uh, I'm just going to make it uh, with it uh, with it off. And uh, for the axis, I'm just going to change to Z. And there you have it. This will be a very basic dome and you can use this. Um, the only problem is, uh, depending on the situation, uh, having the CV over here, uh, because this is actually uh, end and also the beginning on top of each other, could cause some problems. But more, for most usages, uh, this is actually perfectly fine. And let's say you want to build an elliptical dome. All you have to do is uh, just grab this and then you can just do a known proportional scale like this. And from, I guess, so from the top view, I just want to use your uh, right mouse button to make it like that, which works. And if you, let's say you wanted to modify that, uh, you can always grab the CVs. Um, really depends on what you want to do. Um, you can either grab this one over here and just pull it like this uh, to create a whatever desired shape that you want. Or you can also grab the, uh, this side and do the same thing like this. And of course, depending on the situation, that could cause a bit of a problem. So in this case, what you will probably want to do is instead of grabbing the CVs and just moving them directly, you probably just want to use a scale or non-proportional scale in order to do this. So let's say you wanted a little bit of round shape like this, a little bit of a lean like that, and that would basically give the shape that you want. Now, this is a simple method. However, if you don't like a seam in the middle, uh, which could uh, it's a cause, uh, quite possibly cause uh, some issues, there is another way to precisely build what you want. And let me just go through that. So now that uh, I have this one, I'm just going to hide it over here like this. And what I'm going to do is, so let's say I want this, uh, well, I might not make it this exact shape, but let's say something, uh, I want to make something similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate over to the other side. So instead of uh, XZ, I'm just going to do YZ. And let's see, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm just going to grab a curve like this, snap it over here. I'm just going to make it a degree two. And I'm going to push, uh, grab the CV at the center and I'm just going to bring it down. Oh, actually bring it down like this. I think that's actually pretty darn close. Now, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted like a perfectly at the center, you can always move the pivot here and just bring this down like this, bring the whole curve down and you have something like that. Now, uh, that said, however, I'm just going to grab this curve over here. Um, actually, this one I'm going to delete like this and this one I'm just going to hide it over here. All right. Now I'm just going to start with uh, just a dome. So I'm just going to copy this one over here and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees, zero, zero, 90, like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a rail. It's going to be one and one and I'm going to change the sweep mode to parallel. I'm going to pick this, uh, this one over here and uh, pick this one over here. And you get a shape like this. Now there, uh, because while the cr uh, curves are crossing over each other, uh, it does create a span, but we can just uh, reduce it over here. And let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a curve like this, snap it over here. I'm just going to use this to project from the side like that. 
and this should actually give you almost i think it's almost a perfect uh circle so let's check so i'm just going to grab a key point curve toolbox i'm going to grab a circle tool over here and i'm just going to snap it over here and i'm just going to snap it over here oh actually let's do this it looks like it's snapping at a different place so i'm just going to Let's do this. I'm going to snap it over here and I'm just going to use the middle mouse button to snap it over here. And you can see that it is actually pretty darn close. And the best thing is there is no seam, uh, seam in the middle, which can uh, actually be very beneficial in different usages. All right, so that's one way to do it. And well, of course you can always, you know, uh, just don't, don't know for proportional scale like this. But if you wanted things to be a little bit more precise, here's what you can do. So let's say you want to build an ellipse. So I'm just going to snap it over here at the center. I'm just going to make it the same length. And as you can see, uh, you have an ellipse like this. And let's say you want to make it exactly that size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, first of all, delete the guidelines over here. I'm just going to bring this one inboard like that and let's just make sure the position is good so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to lift it up over here like this and let's just make it symmetry over here i'm going to snap this curve like that and there you have it now you got to make sure that the curve is at the exact uh, crossing at the same location and you can do just the same thing so i'm just going to grab a rail it uh, doesn't really matter which one uh, you grab first. So you have something like this, and I'm just going to use the spans, just make it one, and let's just go ahead and project again. So I'm just going to grab the surface, and I'm going to just project it with a curve, and you'll see that it's almost a perfect match. Actually, I feel like, yeah, that looks pretty close. So let's say you have an ellipse that you want to match. This this is how you would do it all right but of course uh let's actually go to the spoon because this is what i'm actually trying to match over here so i'm just going to uh, i have a canvas of a spoon over here now uh it, it doesn't look like it's a little bit smaller so let's make it uh well let's try to match the shape now it is probably not going to be a uh, hundred percent close up but i'm going to try to get it as close as possible so first of all, uh, let's actually hide this one, uh, all of these over here into a different layer like this. And let's try to match this one over here. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to grab a curve. I'm just going to snap it at the center like this. And let's go ahead and extend it this way over here. I'm just going to make it a degree two. And I'm going to do the same thing over here and I'm just going to well let's snap it at the center i'm just going to do this make it a degree two again and i'm just going to do a symmetry again i'm just going to flip the master size so that it's uh well basically symmetrical so it looks like our canvas is a little bit off which is fine um it's just an image so i'll just you know try to work with what i have all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this CV and this CV down like that. And it does have a little bit of bias towards this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this one over here. Now it is, um, now when you are, when you're trying to make it with a bias uh, like this, it is not going to be precise. So I do have to do a little bit of, um, I guess the CV manipulation. But let's start over here. So right now, all the curves are nicely matching like this. And I'm just going to grab a rail. It's going to be one and one. Same thing. Okay, that's hitting it nicely. I'm just going to reduce a span like this. And this curve over here, I'm just going to hide it. Curve. And I'm just going to do that. And now let's go ahead and try to trim this out. Um, but I do need to be precise over here and I do need to project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this one just a little bit like this. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just leave it uh, because I do need to move the CVs over here. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a curve like this so that I can project it from the side. looks like there's a little bit of guidelines. So let's get rid of them. I'm just going to project this one from the side like this. And actually that's pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. Well, if you wanted to uh, make some adjustments, you can always grab uh, the CVs over here and you can, oh, actually let's, uh, I'm going to just move this over here to the side like this. And what you can do is you can either lean it this way in order to give it a little bit more bias like this, or you can of course make it uh, go the other way. But I think what I have over here is pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll just do a little bit of adjustment like this. And I think that looks actually quite good. Okay, so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a symmetry over here and I'm just going to extend it just a little bit over here. I'm going to extend this one a little bit over here and extend this one over here as well. Oh, actually I do have to make the handle part. Uh, so let's actually you know, extend that quite a bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And let's just try to make this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a curve like this. Now for this part, I'm just going to make it uh, really rough because I'm not trying to actually make a spoon. This is just an exercise for essentially the dome shape. Okay, so I'm just going to project it like that. I'm going to grab this one. Oh, actually it should be a little bit thinner because well, of course the canvas is a lot, a little bit biased towards the other side. Let's duplicate this curve to the, oh, uh, wrong place. I'm, so, I'm just going to say mirror. It's going to be XZ now. And let's just center pivot. Oh, actually let's grab it as a CV. Let's turn that off. Let's center pivot. Oops. I'm going to just pick it as a CV and I'm just going to do a center pivot and I'm just going to do a non proportional scale like this so that I get a well somewhat close of a shape. And let's go ahead and well turn the CV structures back on. Although I can just uh, well just for the I guess the C was over here. And I'm just going to project this one over here and let's go ahead and trim. I'm going to say keep and we got the basic uh, basic shape over here and I'm just going to grab a curve like this and let's make the handle part. So I'm just going to do something like that and I'm just going to make it a degree two. And of course this should have some crown like that. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too much. I don't think spoons have that much shape. All right, so that's good. And what I'm going to do is just do a rail. I'm going to say parallel. That's good. I'm just going to, well, since it, there, it has a little bit of shape over here, I'm just going to turn symmetry on like this, and I'm just going to extend it over here so that it's a little bit bigger. And let's shape it a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a shape like this, and maybe something over here. Let's make this a degree two also. And I'm just going to do symmetry. Just going to give it a little bit of crown. Yeah, I should probably make this into a degree three. Let's do that. Okay. Just going to give it a little bit of shape like this. I think, although I think it's a little bit wide, so I'm just going to move the pivot here. And of course you can just do a non proportional scale like that. Now I'm just going to use a stretch tool, snap it over here and let's just make the handle part. I'm not going to put any thickness on this. Uh, so let's just do that. And well, I just, I, I just need to make half. So I'm just going to grab this one, grab these two over here. I'm going to project and I'm going to trim this one over here. Uh, looks like it's not trimming. Why is that? Oh, because the curve is located over here. So let's do that. Trim. Now I got half of this. And I got half of this and let's just get rid of the canvas over here. And all you have to do is just put a fillet over here. It's going to be cord. It's going to be G2 and for the size, well, it is pretty small. So let's see if, yeah, that works. Uh, I think this is edge align. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger like that. And there it is duplicate over to the other side. Or of course you can just turn the symmetry on. And now I have a very nice spoon shape over here. Oh, okay. So it looks like this one actually has a little negative, which is fine. 
Um, so, well, there it is. All right, so that is how you create a spoon and also very precisely controlled dome shape. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.